Kamala Harris earning enough delegates to secure the Democratic nominee. Despite never winning a primary, this, as one of the nation's largest Catholic advocacy groups, has launched a new ad taking aim at Harris, highlighting her failure at the border and the innocent lives lost at the hands of illegal immigrants. Take a look. Joining us now is the man behind the charge, President of Catholic Boat, Brian Birch. Welcome, Brian. What should Catholics know about Kamala Harris? Well, good morning, Rachel. This is a woman running for president with a record, an unmistakable record, of deep hostility and hatred for Catholics and what Catholics believe. And I think there's no better example of this than what President Trump was talking about this week uh, when he posted about uh, her uh, record as a United States senator when she went after a member of the, United, of the Knights of Columbus. Uh, Knights of Columbus, of course, not a political organization, a fraternal and charitable group that helps the Special Olympics, that's provided thousands of coats to poor children, that sent 250,000 care packages to Ukraine for those displaced. Kamala Harris deemed a federal judge unfit to serve because of his membership in the Knights of Columbus. And I think Catholics need to wake up to the threat that she poses to not only what we believe, but our entire way of life. Um, here's a list, by the way, of other victims of illegal immigrants who have come over across the border and hurt young women. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's remarkable and, and, and worth noting. And we're glad that you're pointing that out. But uh, immigration is not the only issue. Uh, obviously, Brian, we have abortion. She is going to be, if, if elected, even more radical than Joe Biden. She is the most radical pro-abortion advocate. In fact, I think her colleague said that her one accomplishment was that she visited a Planned Parenthood. Right, absolutely. The only sitting vice president to ever visit a Planned Parenthood, 100% A-plus rating from Planned Parenthood, the most liberal senator in the, uh, uh, in the United States Senate. And yes, uh, again, her record here, particularly on the issue of life, uh, if uh, some of the legislation that she's pushed through would drive Catholics out of health care, it would shut down Catholic hospitals, it'd shut down Catholic adoption and foster care programs. Why? Uh, because they don't want to participate in some of this crazy extreme abortion medicine. And so, yes, once again, the deeply held beliefs of Catholics around the sacred of, sacredness of human life are threatened by her candidacy. And I think Catholic voters across these states, which is why we're running this ad campaign, need to understand the threat that she poses. You know, Brian, as all things in politics, things are complicated, right? Because Catholic Charities is receiving millions of dollars from the Biden-Harris administration to assist in many uh, in, 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 in basically processing um, many of these illegal immigrants. So there's some debate within the Catholic um, community about this, correct? There are, but there are Catholics, obviously, that believe that we need to secure the border as well, and Catholics in good conscience can take that position. And that doesn't change the fact that she has utterly failed at the border. And this ad campaign that you pointed to is calling attention to there are real human costs of this failure on her part. There is an 11-year-old child in Texas who was raped and is now dead as a result of the Biden administration's refusal to enforce our border laws and to allow this criminal into our country. And we need to stop this before or more children uh, are harmed or killed by these policies. Yeah, that says nothing of the 80, we think between 80,000 and 100,000 children um, who came unaccompanied across the border that the Biden administration has lost track of. Many of them, as you know, Brian, have fallen into sex trafficking, um, child labor, and we have no idea who, where they are or who they're with. So um, it's definitely um, an issue for Catholics to consider um, when deciding who to vote for. In November, yeah. Brian, um, thank you for joining us and thank you for um, all the work that you do on behalf of Catholics. Thank you so much, Rachel. You got it.